All right, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be jumping back into the A3 as we're going to be tuning actually tomorrow, and you'll see this video a couple days before I show the tuning video. But we're doing a little bit of a common fix for the TSIs and I believe even some of the FSIs, and that is the wastegate anti-rattle clip. And we're gonna be installing this guy today. This is one of the real stupid problems that these cars sometimes have where the wastegate actuator rod separates a little bit from the arm that actually goes into the exhaust housing of the turbo, and it just separates and it starts to rattle a little bit, and this guy's gonna keep that all together. And I will insert a clip of either my car making the noise or Another video I actually found where it makes the exact same noise, same engine, it's just on an A4. And so that's what we're going to be preventing today. And it's a quick and easy install, so this is going to be a nice short video. Um, we'll be doing this with a modified engine so we're going to be taking apart the intake specifically in the back area and then since this is a transversely mounted engine it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get access to the turbo but i'm going to show you how to do it without pulling anything else apart and if you have nice small little hands like i do it'll make your life a whole lot easier so let's go ahead and jump right into pulling the intake out pipe is out. All right, so I just threw the car quickly in the air to kind of see if I had any advantage from the bottom, but uh, not really. So we're actually gonna pull the front section of the pipe out now, just so we can get our hands in here. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull the battery box out too, just cause I can't, I don't really have the space in between the box and the high pressure fuel pump to kind of get my arms around in there. So I'm gonna pull that out next. Alright, so this part's going to be a little bit difficult to film, uh, if I can even film it at all. But you're going to want to stick your hand down in between, I believe this is the block right here, and you're going to basically put your hand in between your heater core hoses, and you're going to go down in between them, and you can kind of feel the, the wastegate rod on the left side of the downpipe flange. So it's a little bit finicky, but you're gonna wanna go in there once your engine is cool. Don't do this while your engine's hot or you're gonna burn the shit out of yourself. Do it while the engine's cool. And then you're gonna kinda wanna just feel for your wastegate rod. And you'll, be, you'll, you'll know as soon as you touch it because it'll make that rattle and that's why you're kinda doing this job. And then you're gonna wanna do that a couple times. And then you're gonna wanna go and look at what the orientation of this clip is gonna be. Basically, it's gonna clip like this. And that's like the orientation for the way that the rod is positioned on a transverse V-dub engine, is that the round part is gonna be towards the block. All right, so I've actually switched to the GoPro, just so you can kinda get an idea of what it looks like when it's on there. I managed to sneak it on. I don't know if you can really see it. All right, so now that the rattle clip is in, we gotta put everything back in in reverse. And then I'll start it up and we'll get it up temperature and make sure it's not making any more rattling noises and that'll be it. see if we have solved our ticking issue. Oh yeah, completely gone. You'd be able to hear it right now. 
And like I said, I'll overlay that clip again of what it sounded like. Nothing, absolutely nothing. You can't even hear it now. Awesome. So that is the wastegate actuator rattle clip install and kind of overview I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. I know I get a lot of views of people who aren't subscribed to the channel. I think it's like 97% of you aren't even subscribed to the channel. So don't forget to subscribe. We'll be tuning the car the following day to this video but it'll be a couple days for you guys so stay tuned for that as i think we are actually going to be doing a custom pro tune or dyno tune or whatever you guys want to call it so stay tuned for that and thank you guys for watching peace out